Casino. Get lucky in no time. Play our 1.5 million dollar parks only. Earn entries to collect game pieces. Collect it all. Win 50,000 cash. Play Parks Opoly July 4th through the 26th at Parks Casino. Street Road Exit off I-95 or Pennsylvania Turnpike. It has been so long since you've been in the studio. We're in a completely different studio. And it's gorgeous, yeah. We, and we've been in the studio nearly three years. So it, Yeah, it's been a while since I've been. But here's the good news, though. I leave. You still look the same. Uh -huh. You still look amazing. You still look like every third pirate you'd see in a Peter Pan <laughs> reincarnation. <laughs> So you still look smashing, sir. <laughs> Thank you so much. I'll hold much. your feet while you do sit-ups anytime. <laughs> Thank you. You let me know. You're, you're, you're a kind, kind man. You're a kind. Now, you look great. You look the same, but, but how old are you now? Uh, I, well, I, I turned 40. This uh -huh. is what I know about turning 40. When mm -hmm. you turn 40, you will hear this in your life, and hopefully the rest of your life. This, this only happens once you turn 40. You'll hear, you look good for 40. Uh -huh. You look good for 52. You look good for 63. You never hear that when you're young. You never hear... You look good for 19. <laughs> if you hear you look good for 19, guess what? You do not look good for 19. <laughs> and I definitely embrace that I'm 42. I, I, I know I'm 40. I'm not trying to be younger. I know this. It's over. No more medium t-shirts for this guy. Those days are gone. You won't see me on a beanie, wearing a beanie cap on a Vespa going to Bonnaroo. It's over. Like, it's Saturday night. My friend's like, hey, it's Saturday. We getting bombed? Uh, we're not. You can. What are you doing? Uh, there's a two-hour dateline is what I'm doing. I'm solving a murder with Lester Holt tonight. That's what I got cooking. And I don't want to sound grim or negative, too, but I think once you turn... like what. I accept death a little more. Does mm -hmm. that make sense? Because uh -huh. when you're in 20, you want to you want to skydive, you want to backpack right. Europe, you want to experience life. Once mm -hmm. I turn 40, I'm like, anytime now, honestly. <laughs> I'm exhausted all day. I daydream about lying down under things. I'm like, right there, that table. I could lie down under the table. <laughs> but this is what I mean. Like, if I go to a gas station and I swipe my credit card and it says, please come inside, see attendant, I'd rather die than go inside and see that attendant. <laughs> like, I'd literally rather get my car and drive three miles to another gas station than walk 10 yards in your piece of crap place of business because you can't fix your pump i'll take death <laughs> any day <laughs> now i i found when, when i turned 40 I, I i was telling somebody about this the other day three years ago right they're, they're, yeah three years yeah, ago of course, yeah. three good, years ago. Yes. Right. <laughs> good for 40 uh, uh you turn 40 and you, you i believe you break out in boxer shorts all right by 41 absolutely everything gives you heartburn y right? yes and, and, yes and, and by 42 you have an incredible desire to own a sedan i don't know why <laughs> well you uh once i turn 40 i i know what kale is now uh -huh. kale is in the repertoire <laughs> right. um yeah and and kale is a rich it's nitrate ridden it's overpriced mm. it tastes like crap but mm. you'll eat it once you turn 40 or even sometimes in your 30s people know what kale is but i hate when people get a little older and they're like they start working out they eat right they're like i'm in the best shape of my life and i'm 33 it's like go to hell there's no way <laughs> the best shape of anybody's life between the ages of four to eight years old that is the best shape because you climb a tree you fall down you cry for two minutes next thing you know you're going downstairs in a cardboard box that's amazing shape amazing <laughs> Now, now, speaking about being little kids, now, do you have children? I have a daughter now, uh -huh. and having a daughter, it, I, look, having a kid is amazing, especially at this time, because she's, she's just over three, and mm -hmm. so it's like a human ringtone. Anything I tell her, <laughs> she'll just repeat. Like, we went to Disneyland recently, and there's like this pirate ship you can go tour around, and there's restaurants. Yeah, I work on it on the weekends. Oh, um, <laughs> you look like it. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, you ring the bell, and arr, matey. So she... uh I tell her, we're going past this restaurant. I go, honey, say it. And she, she looks at these people eating. She goes, sayonara, suckers. And I'm like, that's the greatest. Like, if I was eating, I saw a three-year-old say, sayonara, suckers. I thought, you got to run for mayor. That's the most adorable thing. But I'll tell her these things, and she remembers them. And so the other day, my wife, she busted this out like a fine wine. My wife's changing her diaper. And she, and she goes, oh, honey, this is a big diaper. She goes, mommy, it's not personal. It's just business. And I was like, Yes. <laughs> Yes, <laughs> the greatest. <laughs> and another one on the way. Uh, another one on the way, because because I gotta say, when you when you got a daughter, mm -hmm. it's it's the great, it's the best, it's it's a blessing to have a kid. Great, she's healthy, but uh, 
Look, at the end of the day, I think every guy wants a boy. You mm-hmm. want a little trooper. You want a soldier. Uh, you want a little ninja, whatever you think it is. Um, you know, you know, ballerina is cool, but yeah. So I was getting scared, though, because like if I go to a mall, I go to a park, I see a father with three or four daughters. All I see is a man that tried three or four times to have a boy. That's, that's really it. But at the end of the day, every guy wants a boy because a boy can go pro. Honestly, <laughs> if you have a girl and she goes pro, uh-huh, uh-huh. you messed up. That's on you. <laughs> That's on you. <laughs> but I'm glad I got out of the game too when I did because I, we've been dating for like four years. We've been married mm-hmm. for four, so I was out before a lot of dating apps, social media. Right. And here's the thing: I got a lot of great guy friends, best friends. I know them very well. And I see the representation of them in a profile picture, and I don't know who that guy is. So I'm talking to every guy in Philly, anywhere. Know this. You're not sexy. So please, no more selfies in front of a gym mirror doing bicep curls and duck lips. It's got to stop. I don't need to go online and see you shirtless in front of a Honda Civic doing Taekwondo with a parrot on your shoulder. What were, You're a man. Go fix something. you got free time. Fix something. You want to take a picture of something sexy? Take a picture of a balanced checkbook with a lot of zeros in it. That apparently is very sexy to the ladies. And any singer girls know this. I don't drop one tear for you. I don't sympathize for single ladies at all. Because I'm tired of hearing girls. It's so hard out there. It's really tough to meet a guy. It's hard to meet a man. Is it? Go outside. They're everywhere. <laughs> Pick up a rock. Throw it. You'll hit a dude. Here's a challenge. Girls, go out when nobody's out. You'll see guys. Go get gas at midnight. It's a guy. Go to Walgreens four in the morning. It's a guy. Go take a leak in the woods. You hear a br- a branch snap. That's got to be a guy. <laughs> it's unbearable. <laughs> Steve Byrne, it is good to have you back in the studio, sir. Thank you so it, much, it and thank you guys long. very much for uh, understanding when true entertainment hits the studio, you shut your mouths. That's how it works. You let a professional handle it. You I got appreciate it, man. it. You did a good job. Amazing thank jawline. <laughs> Honestly.